Yeah. And uh, Japanese Americans still sort of stuck together. Because mm -hmm. I joined um, Delta Phi Kappa mm -hmm. with uh, sorority. sorority. Mm -hmm. And this is all Asian Americans. Uh -huh. So they had Asian American clubs, you mm -hmm. know, and then they had parties together, more or less to meet mm -hmm. new people yeah. there. So, Imagine now that, you know, there's no campus life now. Yes. That's even the states, even in Japan, I did, all over the world. Virus. It's yeah. so sad because it was the most fun time of mm. our life, you know, to go to campus. The entire years. Gone. Yeah, I know one whole year. It's so mm. sad for these kids, mm. you know. And I'm thinking some of these people are um, athletes, mm -hmm. and they're on scholarship to play football, football or basketball. Something. Yeah, or they don't have the tournaments. They don't have anything. Oh, so, and then they don't get to meet anybody, or even meet their teachers, except for online, yeah. so, uh, it's a waste, mm -hmm. yeah, because the university time is really mm -hmm. the most fun time, mm -hmm. I think, for young kids, mm -hmm. because you're away from home, and then you get to meet lots of people. Mm -hmm. Of course, me, I've never lived mm -hmm. outside of the Gardena home, mm -hmm. so for me to have jumped to Japan, that's a big joke. <laughs> I remember Diane came to the airport when I was leaving with Grandma, Grandpa, and Obajan was coming mm -hmm. because she took in Yoshi mm -hmm. when he came. Mm -hmm. Yoshi's my husband. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Obajan was coming to our wedding, mm -hmm. and Diane came, Lily came, you know, some of my friends had seen me off. Diane was just sobbing, mm. crying like anything, and because I think she worried about me. You know? mm. So did Lily, and I, I miss Diane. Her mom still writes me letters, so mm -hmm. that's nice, but mm. uh, I thought, oh no, <laughs> I mean, what a, life. What a decision. What yeah. a decision, how did I make it? And then you said, why <laughs> did I go? Because Grandma and Grandpa were very impressed with Yoshi. Oh. He, he's, uh, he wrote a diary oh. while he traveled three months in the United States alone. Oh. And uh, Mom read that and she was so impressed. See, they read Japanese, both of them. Oh. And she left that Nikki at the diary near Grandpa's bed, so oh. Grandpa read it too. And they realized that, she said, I don't, Grandma told me, she mm. dealt, I don't think you will ever meet anyone mm. like Yoshi. Mm -hmm. that you will ever meet in the United States. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> My goodness. So, so uh, how was that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, ma, yeah. So that's a, that's a good story. Uh, that's the story. reason, yeah. <laughs> Why did I come? Yeah. Okay, so uh, can you tell me a little bit about teaching? Oh, well, yes. How, yes. you know, what's the, uh, what's the, uh, about, you know, teaching for teaching. you? It must be, oh. what, how many years? Four years? Yeah, 40, 40 years, yeah. I would say. I taught two years yeah. in an elementary school in so. the States before coming. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, if you put in my student teaching, mm. three years. Yeah. And then I came and, uh, not for the first, I, I had an English school. Mm. Mel's, Multiple yeah. English Language School, but I started teaching at Shindai after, in, when I was 38. Mm. I mean, not mm. 38, uh, 20. 20 something, mm. but because I was taught there 38 years, mm. 38 years at Shindai University. Oh. And uh, what do you say, like, for example, what is it about teaching? Uh. It's the eyes and their appreciation. When I'm teaching, they're all looking at you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the the eyes, and when they're learning something new, when you're teaching them something new, mm -hmm. their eyes are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. You realize mm -hmm. they're uh, really appreciating this mm -hmm. information. They're soaking it in, mm -hmm. you know, and so it may it's a reward in itself. Mm -hmm. to realize that you are actually making an influence mm -hmm. on their lives by mm -hmm. teaching them something. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, I think teaching is probably the best profession 
you can mm. possibly find. Mm -hmm. Because oh, I know that, you know, elementary school teachers and such, they have parent problems, mm -hmm. or sometimes I had discipline problems mm -hmm. with students in my in class. In the States. Yeah, in the States. Uh -huh. But overall, the, mm. Uh, teaching is a fine job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a human human contact, mm -hmm. and you can actually see the results mm -hmm. there, and you actually can feel that what you're teaching them seems to add to their knowledge, mm -hmm. and they, you know, mm -hmm. they grow from that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so teaching, and then you have the big benefit of being with other teachers. Mm -hmm. So Shindai was like a safe haven for me. Mm -hmm. You go, know, what? Yes. Uh, to get away from the Japan for mm -hmm. a while and then meet people from all over uh -huh. the world. And we walk mm -hmm. in the teacher's room, it's all English, and mm -hmm. they're from all over. Mm -hmm. You know, and you learn from there, you know, like, yeah, what do I do if I go to Europe and then uh -huh. What yeah, you yeah. see, uh -huh. and then the food that they eat, and the way that they're, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it was really, you mm -hmm. know, I miss that. The teacher's room was wonderful, uh -huh. and, and the teachers, all the teachers, they're so helpful and kind. Mm -hmm. And they have the same experience as you do living in a, another country, <laughs> right? <laughs> they're going through the same problem. So that. Uh, they appreciate mm -hmm. it. And then, of course, teaching itself mm -hmm. is a reward. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe a great profession that you might think of, oh. the girls, I would like mm -hmm. them to think of teaching as mm -hmm. a, a profession. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. so, on the teaching, what's the, how, um, uh, uh, let's say, Shinda, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. university students, mm -hmm. what's the hard things about teaching? Difficult things. The difficult things is sometimes mm. the students have an attitude. <laughs> uh, by meaning, you know, mm. uh, let's say you have uh, about 40 or 40, uh, up to mm. 50 students of uh, uh, medical students. Some are really very kind and friendly and mm -hmm. willing to learn something mm -hmm. new. Some have the attitude. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. that, what are you going to teach me? <laughs> and, it, it, you know, to get, break through that wall, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, I know more than you. And mm -hmm. then you'll get people mm -hmm. who uh, speak English fluently because I lived in the States for 10 years. Oh, then why do you have to take English? Just pass it with a test, you mm -hmm. know. But they thought that by taking my class, they said they'll keep their English mm -hmm. up yeah, and mm -hmm. do whatever. And so. Uh, some students took it because they wanted to learn mm -hmm. more than that. Mm -hmm. So I was happy, but uh, yes, you do get some students <laughs> with an attitude problem, mm -hmm. but otherwise that's not, you know, your problem. Uh -huh. yes, yeah, that's yeah. their problem, mm -hmm. and you try and do your best, mm -hmm. that's all. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to deal with parents either mm -hmm. at the university level. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've been teaching for 38 years, yes. right? And uh, I think the kids 38 years ago and kids nowadays a little bit different. Maybe? Oh yeah. Do you see any difference? Oh yeah. Or, yeah. I would say like uh, 38 uh, years ago they were more um, disciplined, mm -hmm. willing to uh, do whatever mm -hmm. the teacher said, a little bit and more maybe motivated, motivated a little, a little bit little. easier. Uh huh. I think the students nowadays uh, come from a, a rather rich family mm -hmm. and they don't have to really worry too much. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, maybe 20 years or 30 years ago, I had a student who was completely independent from his parents and he was paying everything. Wow. Oh. With his part-time job, mm -hmm. he paid for his apartment, food, and the tuition. Wow. He said, I could not make my mother pay. Mm -hmm. uh, the father had left them. Mm. The two boys were left, and he said uh, uh, he had to do it on his own because his mother was handicapped. Mm. Wow, and then, so he's so strong. Mm. And then did you know I saw them maybe a couple of years ago? Mm. 
they called two boys called and said, "Hey, can we have lunch with you since then?" Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, that's that makes it worthwhile, uh -huh. you know, to see them. What are you doing? And they're both working in Tokyo, you know, mm -hmm. and they're successful. Yeah. One is already married and has a, mm. a child, and that was just great. Mm. So I like mm -hmm. one was Kikoku Shijo, mm -hmm. our boy had lived in the States, mm -hmm. and the other boy Aki, who was English, was mm -hmm. we almost failed him, mm -hmm. Sean and I, but. He studied so hard mm. that he went to Oregon Shuritsu Business wow. School, passed with the A, wow. and got his master's. Mm, nice. I mean, in business, mm. he could barely talk. <laughs> when I had him, I thought, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, how, why are you in my class? My class is supposed to be the Aki Han. He's so successful. Mm. You're mm. really... So, those kinds of stories make mm -hmm. everything else mm -hmm. worthwhile. Yeah. 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 I liked it. I'm not. So some of the I know, kind of questions getting a little bit more serious. Okay. Um, okay. With all the technologies changing, yes. with all the environment changing, while well, we have coronavirus yes. right now, and it, are you genuinely uh, optimistic about the future in well in general? Yeah. Um, a, are you, you know, about, you know, what can you tell to teach you to okay. the kids um, in general? Or kids, not just our kids, kids in general. Yeah. Yeah. I would say I'm an mm. optimist. Mm. And the reason uh, is that I've been a happy childhood, mm. happy adult, and uh, happy marriage life, mm -hmm. more or less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, but... Uh, and what makes me happiest is that uh, the kids mm -hmm. and the grandkids mm -hmm. are all healthy and, mm -hmm. and doing well, doing their best. Mm -hmm. And they live near, I get to see them, mm -hmm. except for the coronavirus right now. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, uh, they're doing well. Mm -hmm. So I'm an optimist and I believe mm -hmm. that even with all the problems that we have, like mm -hmm. climate change mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. pollution yep. and etc., that uh, mm. human beings will continue. Mm. I, the, I pray that there will not be mm. a world war. Mm -hmm. And that is a possibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. But otherwise, yeah, I thought I'm an optimist and mm. the number one thing, you asked me mm. a serious question about religion, the number one thing the Buddhist religion mm -hmm. stresses is appreciation. Mm. And I learned that. Mm. You have to appreciate what especially for us mm -hmm. who live in uh, a good country mm -hmm. that is rich, that you can go to school, mm -hmm. uh, that you, your family can mm -hmm. send you to university, you, know, you have enough food on the table. Mm -hmm. I mean, just that alone mm -hmm. makes you appreciate mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. Of course, from there, the human relations is mm -hmm. very difficult, mm -hmm. making friends, meeting your future spouse. Mm -hmm. But I think you have to be happy. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy, basically, you can't be happy, happy always, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, there are down days. Mm -hmm. But basically, you have to be happy and appreciative mm -hmm. or there's no use leaving. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the, you know, to live the short life that mm -hmm. you have on this planet, mm -hmm. happy and appreciative mm -hmm. and constructive, do something mm -hmm. to help society. That's the main mm -hmm. thing. Uh, I guess that's a similar question, but your biggest lifetime lesson is to be appreciative? Yes. Mm -hmm. Appreciative and happy yeah. and be constructive. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. contribute constructive. something to mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. I think. Because we're so lucky to live here. Mm -hmm. We're so lucky. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that I've got six grandkids. Mm -hmm. Wow. And they're all healthy and they have no, uh, you know, problems. Health problems. Yeah, Health yeah, yeah. problems. Yeah. Mental problems. They're mm -hmm. all fine. So, I mean, what else could I ask for? Mm -hmm. And we have mm -hmm. enough to eat. Yeah. In fact, the problem is eating too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yes. Life is fast, everybody says it. Oh, How yeah. fast? How fast? Yeah. It is <laughs> unbelievably fast. Mm. When did I turn 74? Mm. 
uh, next year I'll be 75. Mm -hmm. I had never thought of that number. Mm. When you're young, even in your 50s, mm -hmm. 70s is something you just don't even think about. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm -hmm. kind of, no, no I'm never going to be mm -hmm. a 70 or 80. But that's just around the corner mm -hmm. now. And then death. Mm -hmm. Death is a real thing. Mm -hmm. Like you hear people passing away mm -hmm. around you, your friends or relatives mm -hmm. have gone already. And and you never really thought about it. Mm. Because when you're young, everyone's mm. healthy, nobody's mm. passing away. Mm. Yeah. But when you get to my age... What do you think about the death? Oh, you're a friend, you've lost your one of the closest friends too, but yeah. what do you think about your own death or your family? So what, how do you, how are you going to approach, you know, oh. you know well, realistically we are getting closer, closer to, to death, death. everybody. Oh, yeah. But uh, what, what do you think about it? Do you think about it? Or? Not mm, really. Not really. Not so much. Mm. It's just that uh, death is a reality. Reality, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And I hope that I don't uh, mm. take too long to die. <laughs> I mean, it sounds horrible, but I, mm -hmm. I would hope that I, you know, just go boom. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I heard Michio-san, Satoba-san's mm -hmm. eldest son, mm -hmm. he died watching television. Mm -hmm. And he must have been, they found out uh, it was a, an aneurysm, mm -hmm. brain aneurysm. Mm -hmm. so, you know, it's sad, mm. but he didn't suffer, he mm. didn't have to spend days in the hospital mm. or, you know. So, uh, death is a mm. reality and we have to accept it. And I just hope people will remember me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but How do you want, um, this is the last question, but yeah. before I, you know, I, I uh -huh. will ask questions, but... Um, yeah, you said, uh, how would you like to be remembered? I mean, you you like to remember. How would you like to remember? Oh, legacy. Yeah. yeah. My legacy, man. Yeah. Mm. How would I like to be? Mm. I would like to be remembered as a good mother, mm. good grandmother, mm. and good teacher. Mm. And, oh, and good wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's it. You know, I hope they can say, you know, mm. there are faults. Oh, I have yeah. many faults. Oh, yeah. But generally speaking, we can mm. remember her. Oh, yeah, she's a good mom mm -hmm. and good grandmother, mm -hmm. you know, and she was a, a good teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I could be remembered like that, yeah. I would be very happy. Yeah. When, once you become 70s, so your body, of, of course, you know, oh. you, you know, you start having yes. problems. Yes. But how about your spirit or soul? Doesn't really change, change right? No, it doesn't change. Doesn't really yeah. change. So do you have like a dream from now on? Oh, do yeah. you have what kind of, uh, you have a, uh, this is what you want to do, you want to oh, yes. accomplish? Or? One of the things mm. I want to do is go to Europe once more. Once more. Oh. And then I'm trying to, uh, but then because of the coronavirus, mm. we can't. Well, you, you maybe have to wait a couple of, you right. know, one or two years, that's it. But yeah. I would like to go. Mm. And uh, what it is, is I've never been to Germany or Austria. Mm. And uh, I was talking to Oshima since mm -hmm. yesterday, and mm. she said, I said, what about Praha? Because she always mm. uh, chuckles. She says, it's only two hours. Everything mm. is only about two hours away. So mm. I'd like to see that. Mm. So I, I guess we, once we get this uh, vaccine out, then everybody's going to start traveling. Oh, I guess, so. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh. And, uh, you, everybody, you should do. Yeah. Yeah. You like to see the uh, historic sites. Yeah, Chuka. historic oh. sites. Very much. Uh, and Japan has such uh -huh. beautiful scenery uh -huh. too. So gradually as I get too old to go abroad, uh -huh. I think I'll take a bus ride. Yeah, yeah you yeah. Lovely. I think you know, pretty soon mm. it'll be okay. It'll be yeah, okay. I think. I hope so. Um yeah. So net. As soon as this is open yeah, like uh if grandpa doesn't want to go with me, I would take like sakura or something. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. you, it's not good to travel alone. Mm -hmm. But uh so, I would yeah. like to go yeah. once more to Europe, and I am willing to go to many of the places in the United States, mm -hmm. and then I'd like to travel within Japan, because I'm here. Yeah. There's some beautiful places to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at the end, I, did I miss something? But um, I, have a, I had a question. Do you have any advice to your grandkids or great-grandkids? or? children in general, you know. Okay. But I think you talked about the appreciation yeah. and 
Yeah. yeah. Appreciation yeah. and be happy. Uh -huh. I mean, it sounds very simple, mm. but life is not, you know, why live a life mm. if you're unhappy the whole time? Mm. So you have to be happy. And How can you become happy? By happy meaning that you hope that the children mm. are healthy mm. and will ma, go to school mm. and uh, do fairly well. Mm. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And if your kids go to college, mm -hmm. that's even a plus, right? Well, for some people who cannot be happy all the time, what can you say to them? Change your attitude. <laughs> you oh. have to change your attitude. Oh. I mean, even with this, the uh, small things, you can appreciate. Yeah. So appreciation is the key, key to, to become happy. the happy. Future. Yeah, right. Mm. I think mm. so. You have to learn to mm. appreciate, appreciate. Mm. what you have, mm. you know, and what's happening around you, mm. and the people around you. Mm. You have to appreciate the people around you, mm. and then you're happy because mm -hmm. you go, oh, they're fine, you know, mm -hmm. and then you're fine too. Mm -hmm. then. And I appreciate every day that I am able to live, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds so simple, mm -hmm. but at night I finish a day and I go, oh, I'm happy I finished the day. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. no accidents, mm -hmm. nobody mm -hmm. fell, mm -hmm. fell over or whatever like this. Yep. So we're uh, basically, that's mm -hmm. happiness, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're oh, very welcome. I, if I you have other we have a uh, different, maybe different uh, sessions again okay. for the uh, Manzana All right. and maybe some other specific uh, topic. All right. Maybe. Anytime. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh.